To get an understanding of a young Rodney Davis, listen to his brother, Robert. He didn't take anything off anybody, and he didn't let anybody mess with his family. Amanda Ray is Rodney Davis's niece. I talked to her recently about her late uncle. What you should understand is that he didn't take any mess from people who were treating underdogs, our people, poorly. So not a regular bully, like a real live stand-up hero. The word hero may be overused at times, but not in this story. Not when you're talking about Rodney Davis. His story is truly hard to believe. He was awarded the Medal of Honor posthumously in 1969. This is a photo of his wife and daughters from that ceremony with Vice President Spiro Agnew. There aren't many men who have done what Rodney Davis did. I mean, I tip my hat to him and I can't imagine the kind of courage that he had to do something like that. It was 1967, Vietnam. Davis jumped on top of a live grenade and saved five Marines' lives. In his Medal of Honor citation, it says he absorbed, quote, the full and terrific force of the explosion. John Hollis wrote this book about Davis. Hollis told me Rodney Davis had only been in country for three weeks. He didn't even know some of the Marines he saved. One Marine to his right, Randy Lee, the late Randy Lee, passed away two years ago. He had been in the hospital with malaria to the day before, had never even met Sergeant Davis. It was 1967. Rodney Davis grew up in what was then a segregated Macon, Georgia. And the Marines whose lives he saved were all white men. Davis, without hesitation, jumped on a grenade to save his Marines. Just shows you how much he loved his fellow Marines, how much he loved America. There are generations who are alive now because of what your uncle did. Mm -hmm. Families who get to grow. And some of which have also joined the Brotherhood. And that is to me amazing. When Rodney Davis arrived home, he could have been buried in Arlington, but his mother wanted him to be here. Historic Linwood Cemetery, established in the late 1800s as an all African American cemetery. This is near where he grew up. His mother wanted him here at rest in Linwood, near many family members, so in some way, that young man who stood up for his family when he was young and the sergeant who saved the lives of young Marines in Vietnam still today. He can watch over generations of the Davis family. Thinking on life scope on where she imagined the neighborhood or anything happening is that she knew that her son would be able to protect something even after death. 